All right, this is why uh, you're gonna take this course. The reason you wanna take this is because uh, we all have our preferred uh, communication style. So there is no one size fits all. Um, now, if you are in uh, uh, an official sales capacity, sales role, you may have some particular things, a particular approach that works for you. But the vast majority of people that I work with, they don't really have, they have what they think they should be doing uh, based on, um, you know, the, the, the popular the popular movies of the day. Uh, Glenn Gary, Glenn Ross is especially, you know, like, like that is a hyper-masculinized uh, if that's even a word, <laughs> hyper-masculine uh, Uber sales producer, always says the right thing, gets the clothes, um, forces people to do, really, and what it is is it kind of forces people to do things that they didn't want to do. Um, that's not what we have, right? We have uh, our various ways that we like to communicate. Um, I use my hands a lot. You'll see this a lot in the video, so hopefully that's not too distracting. Um, but when we're talking face to face, we have our preferred way of communicating. When we are on the phone, we have our preferred way of communicating. When we um, send email, we have a preferred way of communicating. And that's what this uh, course is going to help you do. Is it's going to help you work on what works for you that may not work for anybody else, but will make it work for you. And the reason I say that, uh, if if you were like, well, yeah, uh, I don't know that I'm really ever going to be cut out for this, even though it would benefit me to be a little more persuasive. I'm just not persuasive. You used to be. Um, I've been around little kids enough to know that every little kid has their own preferred way of um, persuading adults, their parents especially, to get what they want. So my first one was very thoughtful, and she. Uh, made sure to be, she was very specific in her request and you could tell that she was really working on it before she ever uh, made a request of us as she was trying to get something. The second one was more, uh, it would try to earn it, right? He was a little bit more of a, an obedience guy um, to the point where we would want to give him the particular reward. And the third one was more of a screamer. Um, he would, uh, he was the first one to go do the limp thing in the store and go down. So. They all had their three preferred ways, and what did we do? We did the same thing that most parents do. We, you, you just, you, you kind of, you kind of knock it out of them, right? Um, I was gonna, say, it, it feels like I can't say you beat it out of them <laughs> without somebody taking me seriously. But really, uh, we have them say, you know, like that is not socially acceptable, or this is more socially acceptable, and so we ended up uh, taking off those rough edges, and then you make them a part of, of society. Um, you forget about that stuff, and then you end up going into some other part of your life thinking, I'm not very, I'm not cut out for this kind of work for, uh, I don't have a sales style. I'm just not a sales guy. Um, you had it. We took it out of you. Now we're just going to go back to it. And the way we're going to do that is we're going to do it by focusing on your character strengths. You've taken these tests before, and you've seen them uh, either work for you or not work for you. Um, the, there's a link on this page, I'm going to say, I'm going to put the video on top so it's below, and it's to the VIA test of character strengths. It takes 15 minutes to take, and really the whole course is based on the results from that test. So you have to take it. If you don't take it, I can't help you. Uh, it's the first step, right? It's my first hurdle that you need to cross in this in this little uh, online course. And so go over to VIA, take the test of character strengths, because it's going to be the source of all your success. And we'll talk about this. It will uh, not only help you in all of the things that you do with selling, but a lot of people that I've worked with have found that it helps with other tasks that they don't like to do also. So if you have a few things that are just nagging at you or you know, you get the advice that's like, oh, attack them first thing in the morning, you know, like uh, if you have to eat your, uh, you know, the, 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 the nasty sandwich, eat it first thing in the morning. So just get it out of the way. Well, uh, when you use your character strengths, you can actually eat it at any particular time of the day. You just need to eat it in a particular way, your particular way, the way that works for you. The example, the the visualization that I want you to have as to why we're going this way is if you look at that graphic of, on the bottom of Ted Williams, and Ted Williams, when he wrote this book on hitting, it's got some of the greatest infographics um, in it. But this one particularly jumped out at me. It's I think it was on the front cover. 
Um, because in there, you can see where his sweet spot was. And he, arguably the greatest hitter in Major League Baseball, in case you don't know who Ted Williams is, if you look him up, Boston Red Sox, uh, people have said, and we'll just say for the sake of argument, the very best hitter there ever was. When he stepped up, they pulled a shift. And I don't know if you've ever seen in baseball when they do this. They do it a lot more now than they used to. But they knew where he was going to probably be hitting the ball. So the whole everybody shifted over. He was so talented, he could have easily gone the other way. Uh, but he didn't care. He still looked for his pitch, and he'd still put it in play. And he'd, uh, again, the, just the greatest hitter. It didn't matter what you did. He was probably going to get on base four times out of ten. And... That's what we're going to do is we're going to find where your sweet spot is. It may not be as big as his. His uh, He was pretty talented all over the board, but you're going to knock it down. I, I use this uh, approach with Little League Baseball. I used to coach Little League guys. And when you coach those little people, you just want them to have success. And this is the – and so to help them have success, what we do is when during coach pitch, when I was pitching, we'd have them stand up there. And the first thing I'd say is, you know, give me a swing. And so they give me their best little swing. And then I'd look exactly where that swing came across the plate, knowing they'd probably repeat that. And then we'd try to groove the ball. And really, the pitcher, the coach's, the coach's job was to hit the bat, right? The kids were going to swing. <laughs> whatever they were doing, looking all over the place. Oh, Wilson doesn't like it when I do my baseball swing. Um, Wilson's my dog, by the way, so you'll see him uh, throughout these various lessons. But I'd get that ball in there, it'd hit the bat, and it would take off. And the parents after the game would say, you know, hey, great great game coach, uh, way to hit the bat on the kids. And I know most of these kids didn't have any talent, but you needed to give them some success. In many ways, that's what we're going to be doing with you and with this course. If you, if you need help for getting to, uh, for making more sales and doing it in a way that works for you, the first thing we're going to do is we're just going to help you, help you with some success. In the forum right now, the best thing to do is to take this via test that you see the link to, uh, do the free version. You don't need to, to pay for it. And then look at your top three strengths. Um, so the first question that I have for you in the forum is, do you agree with the results? Um, you should. You answered all the questions. And uh, then I need you to think back to success you've experienced, and can you see how those character strengths helped? That's, uh, that's all. So that's why we're taking this course is because we're going to work on this premise, and we're going to get a lot deeper into it. Uh, I'll see you in lesson two.